Hi everyone. So in this video, I will disclose my salary for the last two years while working as a postdoc slash research fellow at University of Southampton. I don't think it's easy for anyone to come on a public platform and share details about their salary. But in my personal opinion, we need to have such discussions so that people who have a PhD degree and interested in working as a postdoc in UK, whether they are from UK or outside of the UK, should have some kind of idea on what to expect in terms of salary. This would especially benefit PhD degree holders from countries such as Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and Nigeria, as it would help them to understand the financial implications and make more informed decisions. So the first important question is, what is a postdoc slash research fellow? A postdoc in the UK, short for postdoctoral researcher, refers to an individual who has recently completed their doctoral, that is PhD degree, and is pursuing further research or academic work under the supervision of a principal investigator or a research group. Postdoctoral positions are typically temporary uh, ranging from a few months to several years and are designed to provide recent PhD graduates with the opportunity to further develop their research skills and expertise. Now, postdocs in the UK are often employed by universities, research institutions, or research-focused organizations. Their work usually involves conducting independent research uh, collaborating with other researchers, uh, publishing scholarly articles, and sometimes assisting in teaching or supervising graduate students. Now, postdoctoral positions are crucial for early career researchers to gain valuable experience, uh, build their publication portfolio, establish professional networks, and enhance their qualifications for future academic or research positions. Now, I want to highlight one important thing here that you can't get a lecturer position in UK as a fresh PhD graduate. From my own personal experience, you need to do a postdoc first. And after that, you have higher chances of landing a lecturer job in any of the universities in UK. So I hope everyone is now clear on the part that what does a postdoc means in UK? So now I will move on to the most important part, uh, which I know you all have been waiting for, is the salary part. So I started working as a postdoc at University of Southampton in May 2022. Back then, my starting salary was £33,300, which after tax and state contribution, that is national insurance, was £2,200 monthly. So this is what I'm going to say for each of the numbers. So first of all, I will give you a pre-tax gross salary on yearly basis, and then the amount that was left in my bank account after taking away taxes and state contribution. So I got the salary of 2,200 pounds until July, 2022. From August, 2022, I was given a small pay rise of 3% uh, by the university due to high inflation and cost of living crisis. So my annual salary went up to £34,308 per year. And after tax and other contributions, it was £2,250 monthly. This means that after 3% pay rise, I had an additional £50 each month. I got this salary until December 2022. From January 2023, I was again given a small pay rise of 3% by the university. As the academics and the other faculty at that time, they were demanding higher wages and they were on strikes. So. Uh, the strikes were successful and the university gave me another pay rise and my annual salary went up to £35,328 per year. On monthly basis, after taxes, it was £2,300 per month. So I was given this salary until February 
2023. In March 2023, the university decided to give us um, another pay rise of 6%, which means that my salary went up to £37,332 per year. And after taxes and other contributions, it was £2,400. So I was paid this salary until July 2023. From August 2023, I was again given a 3% pay rise by the university. As the university has this policy of giving pay rise every year in August. So it is very important to note that the previous pay rises uh, which were given to me uh, were due to people striking and demanding higher wages. In normal circumstances, uh, university only gives you a pay rise uh, once a year in August. So that means that in normal situation, my salary wouldn't have gone up the way it did. So in a nutshell, you can expect a salary ranging from £2,200 to £2,500 for most of the postdoc positions in UK. However, you can expect a higher postdoc salaries if you are working in London or in top tier universities such as Oxford, Cambridge and Edinburgh. The region and the university also dictates your postdoc salary. However, you can generally expect a salary in the range of £2,200 to £2,500. I hope you have liked this video as I've tried to be open and transparent as that can help a lot of individuals to make informed decisions when it comes to securing a postdoc position in UK. This helps them to make decisions about their career paths, promote fairness and transparency, and contribute to greater diversity and inclusivity in the academic sector. Knowing the salary range for PhD positions in the UK also help uh, prospective students from Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and Nigeria to make informed decisions about pursuing higher education abroad. It is also important to highlight that this is the income I make from my postdoc job. However, my monthly net income is more than that due to some other side hustles I do. In my next video, I will talk about those side hustles, which would help postdocs and PhD holders to make some extra money in the UK. Thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.